Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you just how easy it is to write word equations, but stay around till the end of the video to see if you can do the slightly trickier question at the end. When writing word equations, the reactants always go on the left. These are our starting chemicals. Then we have the arrow. The arrow means changes into. So the reactants change into something else. And on the right, we always have our products, which are the chemicals that are made. Let's do an example together. So baking a cake is a chemical reaction. That's because once you've made the cake, you can't get your ingredients back again. So to bake a cake, you need flour, eggs, butter, milk, sugar, and of course, chocolate. So how do we write a word equation for this reaction? Well, we start off by putting the arrow roughly in the middle of your page. And then on the left, we're going to need to put our starting chemicals, or in this case, the ingredients. So we would write flour plus eggs plus butter plus milk plus sugar plus chocolate. Think of the plus signs like the word and. So we've got flour and eggs and butter and so on. So on the right, we need to put our product that is made, which is the cake. So notice how I've taken several lines to write out all of the reactants on the left so that they're still on the left of the arrow and on the right we've got the product. So we haven't ended up with the arrow towards the right hand side of our page because we've got a lot of things to write on the left. So make sure we keep all the reactants on the left so we can see clearly what we're starting with and any products on the right so we can see clearly what's made. Example two is one that you'd come across in a science lab. So magnesium reacts with sulfuric acid to make magnesium sulfate and hydrogen. Write the word equation. So once again, we start with the arrow in the middle of our page and the starting chemicals, the reactants go on the left. So that would be magnesium and sulfuric acid. Anything that's made, the products go on the right. So that would be, in this case, magnesium sulfate and hydrogen. So I'm just showing there once again, reactants on the left and products on the right. So have a go at this question for yourself. Iron oxide was reacted with carbon and it made carbon dioxide and iron. Write the word equation. So pause the video and have a go with a pen and paper and then resume the video to see if you got it right. So once again we start with the arrow in the middle. On the left are our reactants that we're starting with, iron oxide and carbon in this case. And on the right are the products that are made. So for this equation, it would be carbon dioxide and iron. So well done if you got that one correct. In question two, calcium carbonate was put in hydrochloric acid and it made calcium chloride, water and carbon dioxide. Write the word equation for this one. So stop the video while you have a go. There's the arrow in the middle of the page. On the left, we've got the calcium carbonate and hydrochloric acid, our starting chemicals. And on the right, this time we have three products, calcium chloride and water and carbon dioxide. Notice again how all the reactants are on the left and the products are clearly on the right. So we can see what we're starting with and what's being made. This question is slightly trickier, just how it's worded. So read the question carefully. Copper sulfate and water were made by reacting together copper oxide and sulfuric acid. Write the word equation. So have a go at this one, then check back in with the video. So we put the arrow in the middle. This time, copper sulfate and water are made. So they're the products. So we're going to put those on the right hand side. And we've made those by reacting together copper oxide and sulfuric acid. So they're the reactants that need to go on the left. So now you know how to do word equations. If you've liked the video, please remember to subscribe to my channel, Revise Chemistry with Mr. B. Thank you for watching.